What's up, Pulselings? Thank you for joining me today. This is Pulse Beetle, where we will be taking a look at three games a week. Give you an idea whether or not you want to buy it, want to avoid it. If it looks good, if it don't, make your own mind up. And sometimes during the week, I will drop a video of my Let's Play. Enjoy the video. So, Pulsers, how's it going? Hope you had a good day. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're taking a look at God Slayer Arena. This is an auto battle arena game, and it looks pretty cool. Last one I played was Orc one, and uh, I quite liked it. Let's have a look at this one. Ooh. What's that? Hero selection. You only get one hero? Okay, fair enough. Uh, passively gains rage while in combat. Enter Berserk upon reaching maximum rage. While Berserking, gain the following effects. 20 bonus spell power for all spells. 25 increased mana regeneration. 50% increased attack speed. Basic attacks cleave all enemies in a small range. All right, cleave no normally means it hits uh, it hits pass through multiple enemies. All right, uh, God's Domain, no special effects. Oh, look. Oh, it's like you've got a 20 run difficulty setting. I really hope they bring in more characters. That's what a game like this will need. Because once you complete it, more characters better. Let's fight. We get to pick weapons. In God Slayer Arena, all combat actions are completely automated. Your hero will perform basic attacks and cast any spells you have equipped until the end of combat. I right, cast spells. I don't think he would do that because he's a uh, looks like a berserker. I thought it'd be like. Pull out hand-to-hand -hand combat. Spells are acquired from the spell shop while in the planning phase. You may select one of the three spells offered to you in each shop. All right, so you get offered three, you only pick one. Drag spells from your spell reservoir onto your main spell bar in order to equip them. During combat, one spell is automatically granted 10 mana per second. Spells cast after they gain enough mana. Spells gain mana from left to right. In other words, after a spell cast, the next spell to the right starts gaining mana. Ah, oh, so it goes down in that order. That's a nice little show. What we got? Deals 50 damage to surrounding enemies, 120 spell power, teleports to a random enemy, and casts with 50% increase area right let's have a little uh all oh, right so you can combo spells gain additional shop refresh at the starts of each planning phase three out of five oh right it so does tell you other one as well okay gain increased area effects reaver spells have a chance of casting with an additional spell area of effect Oh, I like the fact it's got the so you can read each and every different bit. I'm not going to. Or it's got a quick little uh, summary right now. Well done, developer, for thinking that far ahead. I like that. Makes it easier for people like me who have difficult reading. Oh, enemies resurrect as uh, skeletons that fight for you. Ooh. I'm reading the traits first, by the way. Uh, arcane spells grant abject spells bonus spell power if placed on the edge. They gain. It's all instead. Oh, Death Blade spells gain increased critical chance and critical damage. I like all these little side options now. What's this called? Shadow Fang 1. Deals 120 damage to nearby enemies, units with the highest health. If this spell critically strikes, gain 10 attack damage for 6 seconds. Oh. So, with that, you want stuff that makes it crit. Alright, uh, let's read the traits first. When you cast an Electro spell, conjure lightning bolts that deal damage to random enemies. Right, so whenever I cast an Electric type of spell, this will actually fire at an Electric Bolt. That's pretty cool. Uh, projectile spells, fire additional projectiles. Gain shield whenever you cast a Bulwark spell. That means you're going to need to know the different categories of spells as well 
Fire an electric projectile towards your current target, dealing 50 damage, 150 spell power. Fire two additional projectiles. Projectiles gain increased size and travel distance. Ooh. Um. I want the resurrect skeleton. That's got a six, so I think that's going to cast faster. What are these? Remaining live. Health regeneration. Attack evasion. Hex deflect. Okay. Right, so I'll drink down there. I can only have one. Okay. Go on, son. Get them all. Well, I think the ones with the blue around them are my skeletons from his ability. I think. Oh, it might be a spellcaster. I like the fact he runs from one shrine to another. That's pretty cool. Your shop automatically refreshes at the start of each planning phrase, allowing you to select another spell. You also gain one additional shop refresh, which must be used before you start combat. So you have to use it. Okay. I wonder if you can combine spells. Spells level up whenever you have three of the same spell. Yes, I like that. Spells can reach level three, so you need nine. Requiring you to have three level two spells. No, you need more than nine. What do you need? Uh, I'm not working out. that. <laughs> Each spell comes with a different set of traits. Traits grant unique effects if you equip enough spells with the same traits. Understanding which spells belong to which traits is key to survival while you learn the game. It is recommended to focus on searching for one or two main traits. Right, where's that one? That's what I got. Right, so that trait is Necrowave, Arcane, and Death Blade. They don't have any of that. Oh. Deck of cards, though. Casting Twilight spells generates combo, which is consumed by non Twilight spells for additional spell power. Gain a bonus health regeneration whenever you cast a spirit spell. Dark Gambit. I like that picture. That's pretty cool. Launch a magical deck of cards amidst at three random enemies, dealing 50 damage in area. 130 spell power for six seconds every third based attack. Oh, oh I'm really liking this game. Um, I'm going to get the electric one. So I've got two of two different types then let's use the refresh thingy what we got ah yes right now I can combine them I've got to do something why is that two of them on because they don't both do the same thing maybe they power each other up more Oh, look how fast they're attacking though, because they only cost six. Raging Blood Berserk is about to go off. Go on, my mini Conan! Smash them up! I hope you can get some equipment in that. Experience is earned at the start of each planning phrase. When you accumulate enough experience, your hero levels up, increasing the amount of spells you can equip. Additionally, higher tier spells will start to appear in your spell shop. By default, you earn 10 experience per stage. More ways of earning experience will appear as you progress. Right, what's that? Summon an Ethereal Greatsword. To swing onto random opponents, dealing 55 damage. Casting Twilight spells generates combo, which is consumed by non Twilight spells. Reaver. Gain increased area effects. Reaver spells have a chance of casting an additional spell power. An area of effect. That goes with that. 
that goes with that one I've got there. Hmm. They do cost more money though. Alright, so I got that one now. So these two need to go next to each other. I'm gonna quick look for the codex. Well, I had a quick uh, butchers for the old codex. There's some good stuff here already. Oh, look, another one in. Oh, what's that one? Dust bullets. What traits? There's twilight traits. I've read that last time. I ain't gonna read it again. Uh, what's the other one? Soul Walker. Lose less range while berserking. Additional gain bonus SP while in berserk. Executioner spells deal increased damage with further increase the lower execution target. Oh, okay. Fire two projectiles towards your current target, dealing 40 damage. 130 spell power. Fire two additional projectiles. The next projectile spell you cast also gains this effect. Oh. <laughs> Look at that dude falling in the fire. Inferno traits. Your leftmost and rightmost Inferium spells gain refill and bonus spells. So they can power up different spells. Oh, that makes even more better combos. That's a cool idea. Well done, developer. Executioner spells deal increased damage, which furthermore increases the lowers your target health is. Conjure an Inferior Tornado at two random enemy locations, dealing 80 damage over two seconds. 130 spell power conjures one additional tornado. Ooh. Well, I get that. Because when I was in the Cyclopedia, it takes three to be able to power up. I added it straight away. I didn't get to read it. Okay. So I think spell power went up on that. 150, two additional. Yeah, it did. All right, that's pretty cool. So I need one more of them. And what six nine of the hose? I need a load of those, right? Let's go. I want to buy equipment. Go on, Berserker. I will call you Jeffrey. Go on, Jeff. Remaining lives. I got three lives. Any damage you take in combat is fully restored once you reach the next planning phase. You start each run with three lives. If your health falls to zero in combat, one life is consumed to fully restore your health. Oh. Select an item. What have we got? Helmet. Gain 500 health. Gain an additional 100 health for each shot refresh you used. In the planning phase, I gather that's only for the previous one. Not, it doesn't stack up. You can now save your shop refreshes between runs. Oh, at the start of each round, gain an additional shop refresh for every ten refreshes you're holding. Max additional two. Uh, I don't really like the outfit. I like the helmet more than the outfit. Helmet four. Oh, there's different type of helmets. Cool. Gain twenty evasion score. Whenever you cast a tier 3 spell, gain another 20 evasion score for 6 seconds. Whenever you acquire a tier 3 spell, gain 5 experience. Gain 4 random tier 3 spells. Oh. I want to try that one actually. What was that? Helmet 6. That's not a helmet. That's like a crown type thing. After 10 fights, gain 750 health, 60 evasion score, and 60 head hex deflection score what right, but is that for the one fight or is it stack to really say like if it's stacked or not after 10 fights gain 15 shop refreshers oh i want to start stacking spells so that if i can live 10 fights yeah go on hopefully i get to do 10 fights because if this stops at fight eight i'm gonna be annoyed 
Right, uh, refreshers. Gain two additional shop refreshers or 20 experience. I say refreshers. Because getting your spells up as quickly as possible is going to be huge. Ooh. Toxic totem. Traits. A toxic gas cloud causes nearby enemies to take increased damage. Ooh. Executioner. I'll read Executioner. Uh, gain a bonus health regeneration whenever you cast a spirit spell. Is that a spirit spell? Electric Doom Quiver and Bollwalk. No. I have to save electric one, I think. Alright, uh, what's the main ability? Summon a totem at a random enemy's location, dealing 35 damage per second in arena. The totem lasts for four seconds. I do like the speed of this game already. It's very fast paced. Right, uh, electric one. Whenever you cast an electric spell, conjure lightning bolts that deal damage to a random enemy. So that's going to stack the other one. Oracle. Every five seconds, a number of random spell gain mana. Okay. So this is more of a support kind of thing. Passive. For every two projectile spells you cast, Grant the spell to the right to power until the end of the combat. Achieve auto cast a random projectile spell at 75% power. So that can stack that one. Oh, but that's got to be on the right of it. What's this one? Uh, Avarinta, if that's how it said. Gain additional shop refreshes at the start of each planning phrase. Gain shield whenever you cast a bulwark spell. One of them's a bulwark. That one. So whenever I gain that, I'd gain shield. Oh. Conjure a ship boarding aura for six seconds, causing the art by enemies to take 10% increased damage from aura spells while the Shimhura aura is activated. Gain eight bonus health regeneration. I think that was better. Because that we stacked with that. Look, I'll put that over there. We'll let me move that over then. But every two projectile specs, the one on the right gains two power. So I need a project I need to move that one now, another projectile now. That'd be one, and that would go off with increased power and it would go through. I think that is stacks, I'm not sure. Let's refresh. Oh, Enemy resurrects your skeletons or a cast a spell whenever you deflect an enemy hex. Conjure an ethereal portal at a random location. The portal fires a spread of three projectiles towards an enemy, dealing 35 damage. Um, I don't think any of these go with what I've got, so I'm going to reroll again. I know that goes with them. Oh, I'll take it just in case. Because I think that is a... That's not a projectile. I thought it was. Oh, we'll take that one. One more fresh. Oh, a giant hand. All right, that's another Avichira spell. Enigma spells gain bonus spell power. Projectile spells fire additional projectiles. So that goes with uh, that one. I do like the way you can mix and match. What's the hand do? Fires a golden dart towards your target. The dart explodes upon colliding with an enemy, dealing 40 damage in a small area. 130 spell damage. Darts can now pierce through one additional enemy. Ooh. <laughs> Little goblin dude. Chrono spell. Either generates bonus mana or bonus spell power, depending on it. Of, depending on if. They're placed next to another Chrono spell, so they need to stack them next to each other. Okay. Uh, breaker. Gain increased attack speed. Basic attacks have a chance of exploding for bonus damage. Gain 15 bonus damage for 6 seconds. Additionally, base damage grants the spell you're currently casting free spell power. Um, I don't really want any of them. Let's just go.
I like the fact you can see the little uh, lightning and stuff like that coming off the uh, Berserker dude. That's awesome. Go on, son. All the way around, all the way around the arena. The arena awaits you at the end of each stage. Enemies will quickly spawn in deadly waves. So make sure you're prepared for a tough fight. Oh, I didn't get my uh, thing to go up because I needed 10 fights, didn't I? Gain three additional shop refreshes or gain 20 experience. Gain three shop refreshes, I think. Is the better way? Five out of twenty-five. All right, so I'm going to get the ten. Sweet. Right, what does this do? This looks a bit crazy. Right, it's got the Necromart Wave one, which I've got. Beast Cooler summons Spirit Beast that can attack random enemies. Cool. Passive. Grants this and the closest buff spell two mana per second. Whoa. Prioritize, prioritizes the left side. Active or bites in a small area towards your target, dealing 40 damage. Refuse two. The second cast gains 20% critical damage for six seconds before striking. Right, so I've got a couple of ones with the Necro Wave. Hmm. That's a casting twilight one. And it also summons a spirit bear. Cool. Fires three projectiles towards your target, each dealing 45 damage. 150 spell power for every four buff spells cast this combat. Fire an additional projectile. So the more buffs you got going on, the more it will fire off. That's pretty cool. What's this one? That's a toxic one again. With our arena spells. What's the main thing? Launches eight projectiles in every direction, dealing 45 damage to enemies hit. Well, I'm gonna take that because I got them. So need one more of that or one more of that. Or two more of them. And we should be in business. Let's have a look. What right, crawl I've read, Necro Weaver Red, Executioner I've read. Conjure Field of Decay. At a random enemy location, dealing 60 damage over three seconds. This deals double damage to enemy directly in the center. I've right, got a mask one again, and we've got that one again. We've got two of those. I just need one to connect them through now, don't I? All right, no more spells. Cannot take any more spells. Sintrek. Gain increased damage for each unique trait you currently have active. Cool. Reva, that's an air effect one. Deals 65 damage to all surrounding enemies. This spell gains a bonus depending on what type of spells it's placed next to. Oh, arena actual spell gains 10 power. Projectiles, this spell gains 20 bonus critical chance. Passive, this spell generates 25% increased mana. If it's a buff spell, this spell gains fires an eternal strike towards the current target. Oh, I wish I had that one to begin with. Oh, these are all tier twos. That's tier two. One, 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 one. Okay, cool. So it's going up a notch, is it? Right, let's do another one of those revives. I've read that one. Read that one. Let's have a look at this one. What's it got? Soul Walker. Uh, lose less rage while berserking. Additionally, gain 20. Uh, gain bonus SP while in berserk range. Deathblade. Deathblade spells gain increased critical chance and critical damage. Strike towards your current target, dealing 40 damage in a small area. If this spell hits a mythological or godly enemy, oh, I think that might be a boss with a critical hit. Begin recasting this spell and grant it five bonus spell power until the end of combat. Oh. Right, let's go see if we can get another one. Right, so I've got two of those. 
So now I need either one of those, two of those, two of those, or one of those, or one of those. Should really stack them up like that, but who cares? Oh, I can't read it now, Pete. That one. That ah, sucks. Should still let me read it. Uh, let's go. Go, Berserk boy. Go on, Jeffrey. There he goes, Jeffrey. The Berserk boy. You let that, he's stacking up. I wonder why you're standing there then. Ah, right, um, portals to the next zone will appear after you clear an area. Keep an eye out for the enemy modifiers present in each zone. Some modifiers will last for zone only, and some will last for your entire run. Oh, that's not good. Once you enter a new zone, you'll receive a gem depending on which zone you selected. Gems provide your spells with a variety of powerful effects. Gems can also be obtained through an item's artifact modifier. Okay. Okay. Infernal race lands or the deserts. Oh. Enemies have a 20% chance of spawning one tier higher. Your shields are 40% less effective. Oh. Buff spells cost five more mana to cast. Mana block this spell on every other attack. Grant this spell an abject spell one mana. Okay. You now only recover 6% of your missing life after each fight. That sucks. Buff spells have a 20% reduced spell power. Enemy hex deals 200% more damage to you if you have an active shield. Oh. That's gonna be mad. Sniper, 20 spell power, fires one additional projectile per 20 bonus spell power. Um, I've only really got one projectile. I'll take that because that 6% missing life is gonna be too big a hit. Gems are equipped by placing them onto a spell gem slot. Each spell may only have one gem equipped. And gems can be unequipped with no limitations. That's cool. I might have to get rid of some of my junk. But that's gone up, isn't it? That was six. That's not cool. Gain three additional shop refreshes or 20 experience. I'm going to keep that there for now. And I'm going to gain shop refreshers to see what I can get. Oh, I've seen that one. What's this one? Enigma spells, bonus. Gain bonus hex. Deflection scores from ward. Right. Passive. All spells on the left gain 25% increased error. All spells on the right gain one projectile. Active randomly selects either the left. Or right side grants the three closest spells on the side 20% spell power for the next cast. That's 20 spell power, not percentage. Sorry, I misread that. Shadow Born summons a shadow minion, which levels up as you cast Shadow Born spells. So the minion gets more and more powerful. That's cool. Uh, projectile spells fire additional projectile, launches free. Projectiles that resolve around you, dealing 20 damage to all enemies hit. So it's basically like a shield that spins around you. Well, I don't want to have any more down here than what I need. All right, I feel I've read that one. Read that one. Read that one. Let's refresh. That's what I was looking at. Got took it away from me in the last screen. I feral was the fire one. Beast call is the summons a beast. Grant the closest area spell 30% increased area and 15 bonus spell power for the next cast i don't have any uh, area spells i think the fifth time this is cast in combat 
Gain 15% increased damage until the end of combat. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. Ice Missile. Mana block your leftmost frost cast spell. Alt will cast it every five seconds. Oh. So it automatically casts it. That's pretty cool. Imagine having a row of them, just them all out. All your spells would constantly cast by themselves. Uh, summons a Shadow Minion. Read that one. Death Blade. Read that one. Fires three short range missiles towards your current targets, dealing 50%. 50 damage. I don't know why I keep saying percent. Sorry about that. All right, dealing 50 damage to enemies' hits. Every third time this spell is cast, or all cast fires two additional missiles. Additional missiles travel further. Ooh. They sound so cool, but nothing goes with this. Oh, you nerds. Give me something I want. Well, it's basically a poison one. Efficiency drug. I should level three and all. Toxic, game bonus, red them. Passive, abject spells have 25% reduced spell power, but generate 40% bonus mana. Oh, Give me one of the ones I need, you nerd. Mana block your leftmost frost cast. So that goes with a giant crystal one. So it's just up. Uh, bonus health, passive, gain 50 health. Active deal 100 damage to three random enemies. If this skill, if this kills at least one enemy, increase the spells of passive health bonus by one. <sighs> Does that stack throughout the entire run? So it just goes up more and more. Ooh. Right, you. Calm down. I need to increase the size of this bar, or else I'm gonna have to get rid of one of these. I might get rid of those ones. They go in a skeleton, but so does that one. And the other two go with those two. All right, let's uh, end in a fight, shall we? Definitely see the health different with these waves. I don't know if you said at the beginning if this was a uh, roguelike where you go over with your stuff. If it is, cool. If it's not, that's a big flaw in the game. Uh, mastery spells are unique spells offered to you once per game. They don't use space on your board, good, like other spells do, and are not affected in the spell shop. You'll be offered an upgrade for your mastery spells as you progress through the dungeon. What we got? Grants yourself and all allies 20% increased basic attack damage for 6 seconds. Why wow, that does go with my uh, Necromancer one as well. What's this one? Uh, erupt a blaze of fire at random enemy location, dealing 125 damage in an area. Feral and Phantom. I don't think I've seen a Phantom on that. Gain bonus evasion score and bonus spell power for Phantom spells. Okay. Passive. Whenever you cast or auto cast an area spell, gain rage equal to 50% of its mana cost. Active strike is an area towards your current target dealing 130 damage. I'm going to take Call of Dead. Because it goes with my uh, Necromancer build. I'm going to gain additional refresh rates. Or cast this spell whenever you deflect an enemy hex. Well, I'm going to put that there. Alright, that was already there. Cool, right. Uh, let's refresh that. Oh, I don't need them. Oh, look at that one. Flaming Demon. Infernal Death Blade. Eclipse. Combat starts. Your free rightmost spells gain various bonuses. Oh, that could be huge. 
emit an infernal blast dealing 50 damage enemies in the area around yourself 160 spell power additional dash towards two random enemies and repeat the blast when you reach each target oh I have to do that one. Let's go to that one with dagger. Oh, we're both already level twos. I'm really tempted to bring that one in. Uh, but I can't do it because I've got too many spells as it is. Hmm. This is what I mean, look. I would need. Another two of these, and I don't have no space there. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna put that onto. That for now. I think I need to get rid of one of my spells. Which. That's necromantic. That's necromantic. Yeah, I feel I need to get rid of that one. Passive grants. This and the closest buff spell two mana per priority. Right. I'm gonna put that down. Actually, I'm gonna put that down. Get out. Get out. Right, so when that goes off. <laughs> right, this movement thing is really annoying. Right. So these two are now going to power that up by four every two turns. So I go through once, and the second time it's going to power it up. Yeah, that seems good to me. Right, so electrolysis 2 is happening. It does three lightning bolts, deals 60 damage. I don't think that one's active. Because I don't have them on there yet. Right. Do -do -do. I can't really use any of them. But I don't go with what I've got. Right, fireball. No, no, that's going to work with what I've got. Let's go. That should go up by four now. I'm not losing too much health, that's cool. Go on, Jeff. You got this, Jeff. What's this? Uh, enemy attacks can be evaded depending on your evasion score. The higher your evasion score, the higher chance you have of successfully evading an attack. There is no limit on how high the evasion score can reach. Sweet. Hexes are spells created by your enemies that deal a large burst of damage. These hexes can be deflected by a hero causing enemies standing inside of the hex to take 8% increased for 6 seconds. The chance of deflecting a hex is dependent on your hex deflection score. Similar to evasion, there is no limit on how high your hex deflection score can reach. Ah, oh, pretty cool. Uh, 20 experience or additional shop refreshes. Hmm. I might level one up. Let's level up this time. Oh. Yeah, more powerful. Or cast random projectile spells at 100% spell damage. Sweet. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm going to put that one there. As well as that one. Let's refresh. Uh, it doesn't help me. Alright, let's go, go, go. Yo, Jeff Power. You mighty morphin Jeff Power. I think that's my skeleton dude. It actually went off. Sweet. Fighting face that appears on the screen. I think the graphics of this are really good. The animations are quite cool. It's just going to be learning the combinations. The combinations will get you victory. Spell power is determined by the strength of your spells and is denoted in the bottom right of your spell. Spell power affects spells in various ways, such as damage and buff strength. Oh, do I get some weapons? Sweet. Projectile spells fire three additional projectiles after casting four times. Oh, gain a gem refill free plus 25% spell power. What? So I'll fire three additional projectiles on the fourth time. Every four times. Oh, that's three. Whenever you cast a buff spell, gain 15% attack speed for 6 seconds. Gain a gem. This spell gains 8% bonus damage for every buff spell you have. Equipped. This spell now counts as a buff spell. Ah, sweet. Combat starts grants 3 random area spells, 20 spell power. And 25 increased area. Gain a gem refill two on every third cast. Gain free spell power and 10% increased area of effect. I uh, don't really have area of effect. I want the projectiles. I'm going to put them on that lightning one. Right, go over there. Right, uh, gems are a bit fiddly. Ah, oh, yes. Increased power. Um. I'm going to start pumping up experience. It gives me more spells. And I want to see what else it does. Right, I haven't got any of them. So let's go on to the next one. Oh, that's a new one. Uh, Electros and Breaker. Conjure an electric field towards your current target, dealing 50 damage in an area if a mythological or godly enemy was to be hit gain 15 attack damage for six seconds that's pretty cool oh that guy's falling out of the sky we've got enigma and arcane creates an ethereal zone that lasts for six seconds dealing 120 damage over four seconds enemies inside the zone take 20 percent increased damage from basic attack that's an area attack um, I still want to keep my spells quite light for merging. Let's go. Oh, that Jeff can't be stopped, can he? The power of Jeff. I'm not sure where to go. Experience. Or refreshes. Because I think more powerful spells are more important. But I think this... Oh, we don't know. We'll get up to another level. 
And then I'll go back to get more spells. Oh. Shadowborn. Summon Shadow Minion. Oracle. Already got that. That's with that one, I think. Yeah, Oracle. Passive. This spell generates 100% more mana. Active grants one random spell. 10 power. Oh, subject cast target one additional spell up to five. Oh. We well, gotta take that little dude. That's now powered up. Sweet. So now I've got three of those. I need ten. That's a one. Two. Three. Four. I don't think it counts that as another spell. Hmm. Right, let's refresh. We've got another little dude. Three more of those. I should have read that one, should I? Dang it. Sorry, people. Let's keep going. Smack him in the head. Yeah, you witnessed the power of Jeff. <laughs> that was a bit crazy, wasn't it? Jeff got mad. Uh-oh. Near down halfway on uh, power. That's not good. got now permanent modifiers ranged enemies spawn a homing missile on death dealing 20 damage these missiles can be evaded area spells have 40 percent reduced area you have 40 percent reduced hex deflection score i'm right, going to take more hits forest sucks refills deals 15 percent less damage but generates 35 percent increased mana uh, not really that interested in that one. You now only recover 6% of your missing life after each fight. Mythological enemies heal other nearby enemy units on death. Projectile spells cost 5 more mana to cast. Oh, I've already got an increase in those ones, didn't I? Uh, mana block this spell on every other attack. Grants this spell and an object spell 1 mana. Let's go, Desert. Why not? Starting at level 6, your spells reserves will increase in size as you level up. Oh, I thought we were already doing that. No? Right. We got 90. We nearly got another one. Ooh, new one. Passive. Whenever you cast an adject spell, grants two random spells that share a trait with its 10 bonus spell power for the next cast. Active grant abject attack spells 10% increased critical chance and damage. For the next cast, grants abject non-attack spells for mana. Oh. I think I looked at that. That's the missile one of that. So if I had those two earlier, I'd already got those ones. But uh, let's have a look at the next ones. No, I don't want them. Uh, I'm going to put that onto you. Right, let's go. I think I do need uh, better spells. I need to get more powerful. He's finding it a lot more harder to go through now. Uh, Jeff Stan under half energy. Ooh. 
What have we got? Grant yourself and all allies 20% basic attack damage for 6 seconds. Reduce this spell's mana cost by 8. Gain spirit trait. I don't really have spirit trait. Cast a bone ritual whenever you enter and exit berserk. Bone ritual summon undead minions from the necro weave traits. Uh, so I'm upgrading that to one of these two. I think this one's better. Because those little uh, undead dudes are doing awesome. So I'll get all up there just to get the <laughs> short spell. That's terrible. Uh, three additional shop refreshes. I need better spells. All right, what's that? Uh, Frostcraft, in that bulk walk, in that reaver, in that. Dash towards a random enemy's direction, conjuring five icy explosions along the way. Each explosion deals 50 damage in an area. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm, I'm tempted to get that. I won't be able to hold enough if I get the ones I need. Let's re roll. Right. You. One, two, I need another one. We got lightning. Need another one of those. That's why I need to keep space. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. That's a level four. Oh. Right, Enigma Eclipse. I want to try an Eclipse one. They sound cool. Fire a volley of eight projectiles in all directions, dealing 50 damage to all enemy hits. After a short delay, dash towards a random enemy and pull the projectiles back to the location. That sounds crazy. Hmm. But uh, I can't take that. So I'm, I want to level this one of these up to four. Yes. So I've got two of these dudes now. Right, so these two are actually uh, falling behind quite a lot. Whereas these ones I might be able to upgrade. Let's keep going. I think I keep I think I need to keep going shop refills there. Yeah, go on, machine gun. Power of Jeff knows no limits. Ah, oh, there's a demon now. Crab demons. The crab people heroes. Each hero you can play has a unique passive ability. The raging blood periodically enters a state of berserk, granting him benefits such as attack speed, spell power, and mana regeneration. Each hero has a unique set of mastery cards to choose from. So there are going to be more. That's that, that uh, berserk thing. I really think that could be our. Right, um. Let's see if we can get what we need. Ooh. Right, it's another electronics one. Spawns three electrical orbs that revolve around you. Lightning orbs deal 120 damage over four seconds to enemies. It passes. Hmm. I might put that on. Right, so that's only gonna affect the main one I've got. Where's that? But well, that's useless to me. Hmm. I'm not sure. No, I don't think I should. I don't think I should mix. Because I want to prioritize getting these. Seen all them, and they are lovely. Right, I don't think I've seen that one. Soulbind. Uh, Soul Heart Phantom. That gives you an Evade Oracle. Right, passive. Whenever you cast an Adric spell, grant two random spells that share a trait with its 10 bonus spell power for the next cast. Active, grant Adric attack spells 10% increased crit chance and damage for the next cast. Grant Adric non-attack spells 4 mana. Oh. 
Oh, these higher level ones, I really want. But I don't want to sell out what I've got. That looks like Amoeba. Time dilation. Dilation, sorry. That's a Kronos. And a Bolt Walk. The effect of this spell alternates each time it's used. One, reduce enemy's attack speed by 20% for four seconds. Two, generate three bonus mana per second for five seconds. Well, I'll take that. That's too powerful, not to take, quite frankly. All right, that could be a massive game changer. Got another lightning. So I need another three of those. And then I can combine that, that, and the third one. Same as that. I didn't read the mask one again. I keep forgetting that. Right, none of them are going to help me. Uh, let's go to the next battle. I want to see the Corona shift. Oh, I'm going down faster. I need some kind of a uh, passive regeneration. My energy's not going up fast enough. Halfway there. Enemies come in various rarities that determine their overall strengths from weakest to strongest. Enemies can become common, royal, mythological, and godly. Oh, so they're not bosses. I thought mythological and godly was bosses. Mythological enemies are shown with a purple skull icon above their heads. Similarly, godly enemies are shown with an orange skull. Right, orange and purple. Okay. Every 10 seconds, Gains 100 shield, increases this value by up to 100% based on your missing health. Oh, so the more damage you take, the more this increases. Okay. Gain a gem refill. Gain one spell power for each 100 health you're missing. Not very encouraging. Everything relies on me having low health. Gain 1250 max health. Gain one extra revive. Oh, an extra life. Okay, uh, go between 5 to 30 health regeneration based on your missing health. Is that per second? Gain a gem. This spell continuously grants between 1 and 3 bonus mana per second based on your missing health. Hmm. That's going to be mitigating some damage, but... I'm not getting health back at the end of the runs. So, uh, that one. That I have low value for. Because that's only just a base on top of your hit points. And one life. If you're going to die, you're going to die. You don't really want to die once. You want to avoid it. So, regeneration and mana regeneration. I think this one slightly outweighs that one. Right, we can either get 20 more health or four additional shop refreshes. I'll say four shop refreshes. I want to try and get some of these at least onto maximum and see what happens. Right, I'm going to put that onto the other dagger because it's a low score, so it's going to hit more, so it's going to trigger more times. Right, I don't value any of those. I've got 20. Oh yeah, I got that on the um, temp thing, innit? Yeah, it went off. Sweet. <laughs> 14 out of 25. Okay, so I might go off one more time. Right. So all that. Oh, bubbles. Sidetrack. Gain increased damage for each unique trait you currently have active. Berserker passive. Mana block the spell to the left. Instead, each basic attack has a 50% chance of granting its two mana oh okay right let's go to this one 
I should be able to get these now with this man. If not, I'm going to have a hissy fit. All right, uh, what's that? Avira and Reva traits. Passive. Whenever you cast any other attack spell, auto cast this spell at 50% spell power. Ooh. Active. Conjure an array of ethereal swords that deal 70% damage in an area at random enemy's location. Spell power scales on both damage and area. Oh, that's pretty cool. I really want to get the summon the bear ones though. Wow, spawn three orbs around yourself. Send that, send that. What's this one? Oh, Pyro Burst. All right, Inferior. Guess it would be. Ward. Passive. Whenever you deflect an enemy's hex, this spell gains 10 power for each next three auto casts. Active. Fire an Inferior Laser towards your current target, dealing 7 damage to enemies hit oh so it's gonna be like a laser gun <laughs> all right let's keep going all right sit on those sit on those <gasps> oh frenzy look at them electric dogs why well, it's electric one which is cool summon spirit beasts that attack random enemies passive when magic spells are cast or oh, cast this spell with spell power equal to 400 percent of the casted spells mana cost whoa Active, gain 1% increased attack speed for the duration of combat. Does that stack? Ooh. Oh, I really want some of these. Chemicals, I haven't seen that one. Looks like a poison area. Launch three bouncing acidic orbs towards your target. That's the same as the electric one, but with poison. Okay. So I want, there must be a fire one as well. Right, time dilation. I'm marking that one instead. Mm, whenever object spells are cast. Well, it says spells, so that means plural or two. Right, it's going to be Beast Walk, and I don't have Beast Walk. No, I'm going to stick with that for now. Right, it doesn't have a special ability. I want to try and increase one of these to the maximum without constantly mixing them up. Right, don't think I got that one. Uh, what's that? Kronos, Doom Quiver. Fires an arrow aimed at your current target, dealing 60 damage to all enemies hit. 140 spell power. The arrow returns to you after a short delay. Okay. Yes. Let's keep going. Mm. I'll turn to get that arm one. It looks cool. And who doesn't want spells based on their looking cool, eh? Right, sit on those. Sit on those. Come on. Look how many trials I've got. I've only got one. Oh, come on, you mofo. Well, I'm calling BS on that. <laughs> uh. So these ones, Void Shatter and uh, that one, Time Duration. Right, that would give me uh, another Lightning one, wouldn't it? Well, I'm going to take that. And I'll get rid of that one. That actually goes with something in my deck. Where's the others? Tend not to. Right, let's start a battle. Can't believe I didn't get any more spells that I needed. That kind of sucks. Come on, Jeff. Use your magical balls. Oh, there he is. Look at them. Big old yellow balls on Jeff. That's one of the special bosses with a skull.
Right, with that armor, my health is uh, keeping up with the damage. That's pretty cool. I just need more armor. Right, uh, experience or refresh? Let's keep going refresh. Oh, we get one of those for my balls. Right, don't need them. I haven't read that one, have I? Right, that's a, a twilight, a phantom, gain 25% increased damage for four seconds. 130 spell power for five seconds. Whenever you evade an attack, deal 100 damage to the attacker. I'm not really going to invade, am I? Uh, let's have a look. Nope. No. I'm getting some bad rolls, man. All right, let's go. I need my spells to match. Look at that, man. Taking on hundreds. Jeff will not be defeated. Yeah, that's it, Jeff. Stick your balls right in their face. Good man. Do -do 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 I oh, look fast forward button there. Go on, that godly falls to life. Kill the godly one. Right. Mm, we get another crappy choice. Melee enemies deal up to 25% more damage based on your missing health. Whoa, that's going to stack up their attack. That's crazy. Fights in this zone spawn 15 Hex Beetles who spawn a Hex on death. That's not good. Uh, enemy attacks deal 100% more damage if you have an active shield. I don't think I've got a shield. Every 8 seconds grants this spell and Adric spells 50% of their maximum mana. Cool. Uh, enemy Hexes cause you to take 3% increased damage to six seconds mythological enemies heal after nearby enemy units on death mythological enemies deal with 75 percent more damage but gain 1000 percent increased attack speed abject spells gain refill too oh both of those gems are really cool so do i want the normal people to be able to stack their damage or do i want Bosses, minor modifiers. They're not minor modifiers. They're quite big. I think how long it took me to take down that one godly one, that'd make them too powerful. So I'm gonna go this one. Right again, we're gonna try and get more shop refills. Ah, oh, this shop's annoying me. <laughs> this is not how it is. It. Uh, Guys, fill an magic spell. Fifty percent. The maximum amount of right. Well, it did that one, and it might do that one as well, because that's on the other side of it. I'm not sure if it will include it on the right hand side or not. Right, uh, that sucks. Let's go to the next one. Oh, shock blast fires an electrical projectile towards your current target, dealing 50 damage. 150 spell power, fire two additional projectiles. Projectiles create. Gain increased size and travel distance. I really like the lightning ones on this. I think they're very well. Lightning ones or the ice ones? Right, not using any of them. Uh, sit on them. Yes, I've got another scroll. Oh, what's that? New butterfly ones. I don't have butterflies, no. Okay. I wasn't sure. Uh, Inferium and Executioner for three seconds launch five projectiles per second aimed at random enemies 
each dealing 50 damage to their target bonus projectiles increase the duration of this effect by five seconds oh that sounds pretty cool don't it? right hmm, i'm running out of space i'm not sure whether to leave the undead ones on or just take them off and just go full lightning Classes, classes, buff spell, three mana per second. Cause I can have two of those scrolls down. And big old all bores was. And the Necron one isn't Hmm. Can resurrect mythological tier creatures, can resurrect godly tier creatures. Lightning ball still sent the lightning ones do seem to be have a better stack. I'm gonna do um get off. All right, I'm gonna do one. With pure lightning. Cause I wanna see how effective pure lightning would be. Those two will add to the stacking because there's three of those. Alright, what's this one? Uh, on every other attack, grasses, spell, and magic spells, one mana. Uh, that's got me an attack, don't it? We'll put that one. This spell continuously generates between one and three bonus mana per second based on your missing health. Right, I can go on anything, so put it on that one. Yeah, I might do. If this works out, I might get rid of all the undead ones. Splitting it across multiple different uh, magic stats. Doesn't seem to be a very good idea. Oh, Jeff's got a bit mad. I oh, can stack the uh, electric balls up. He had six of them then. Jeff's nearly dead. Ah, oh, so I'm gonna lose our first life. I think it's to the uh, increased attack they get. It's still going off. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Oh dear me. Oh god. Oh. Yes, let's increase one size of my balls. Um I think it's those scrolls, I'm not doing enough damage. One, two. I'll just have a look at a second over there. Right, two. Yeah, it doesn't include doubles. Um, right, what are you? This spell continually generates to one or two. Let's put it on that. Let's start a battle. We took quite a bit of damage that time. I think it's because uh, I had the scrolls on, too many of them. I wasn't doing enough offensive damage. So I wanted to stack up the lightning attack. Jeff, go mad. All right, godly one's going to kill me, I think. I'm nearly, I've got a lobby left. Go on, Jeff, go on. 
Oh, you continue. I thought we'd make you restart the fight. No, it continues. That's cool, man. Oh, wow. We've got uh, more equipment. Gain 75 hex deflection score. Hex deflections now deal damage equal to 8% of target's current health. Enemy hexes can be deflected even if you are not standing on them. Uh, doesn't sound that good. Whenever you cast an attack spell, gain evasion score equal to 100% of the spell's mana cost for 8 seconds. Oh! Well, that's stack. Like that one, that one, then that one. That's an attack, and that's an attack as well. Oh. All attack spells gain 25% increased mana cost and 25% bonus spell power. Whenever you cast a buff spell, gain 30 shield. Gain a random absorption of buff spells. Buff spells gain multicast 1 and 25% increased mana regeneration. Uh, I'm going to have to Giant's Toe. I like saying that one better. All right, uh, let's go additional shock rerolls, shall we? All right, no, no, no. Oh, finally got another one of those. Jeez Louise, that took a while, didn't it? Whoa, what is that? Mage Barrier. Looks like the one out of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Passive. Whenever any shield expires, grant adject spells 15 power until their next cast. Active. Perform a short dash in the direction of your current target upon reaching your destination gain a shield that absorbs 250 damage that sounds good but i don't really have shields do i what are you homie uh happy little ghosty dude launch six projectiles aimed at your current target each dealing 100 damage to your target Ooh. death blade and necrowave right let's get on i need two more of those yeah, it's better, but one back down. Wow, right, come on. Give me one of ones I need. You little annoyance. Oh, you are a little annoyance, ain't you? You nerd. Oh, who are those people? We're going to find out in a second, I think. A lot of oaks. Good, Jeff. Stab more in the face. Oh, he's got a berserk now. Yeah, berserk time, baby. I got 2,000 health left. Yeah, I made it. Sweet. But additional shop refreshes. For the love of goodness. What, well, I got that one? What, well, nope. Got that one. Ah, dang it. Hmm. Let's have a look. All right, don't you know them? All right, let me buy them all. Ah, sweet. Oh, it's gone. Uh, I think it's bronze. All right, passive grants. This and the closest buff spell three mana per second. Prioritizes left side. Active fight. Right, so I need a buff spell. We got a buff spell. Oh, I'm not sure which other buff spell would be. Well, that's a buff. Grants you a buff. That's a buff. So it affects in that one. All right, cool. That did to go well to go. Sweet. Right, one more refresh. 
Ah, nurks. We are down halfway. Two thousand. One thousand eight hundred. Go on, Jeff. I believe in you. Oh, one thousand two hundred. We're going down. Keep going, Jeff. Six hundred. Our regeneration's pulling it back to seven hundred. Oh, it's not going down. Oh, oh, we lost a life. No, one more life left. We got six more waves. Yeah, the one dead dude. Let's get another four of these. I just want to max these out there. Conjure a random shaped lightning strike at a random enemy location, dealing foot five damage, refills free. Each cost each cast gets increasingly larger than the previous one. Hmm. Right, Electro, Reva, and Arcane. Right. Little knife boy. Yeah, we've got a knife. We've got another knife. Give me another knife. Nope. Uh, we've got a lightning. Uh, we've got magic balls. Do, 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 I might get rid of those. Yes, I might actually get rid of those. Because I'm not finding them that uh, useful. Alright, let's go to the next battle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I like the music in this, by the way. Let's fast forward it, yeah? Because the amount of damage I'm taking is uh, skyrocketing anyway. <laughs> Down to halfway life. 1,900. Uh, looks like we've gone down. Give feedback. Warning may cause an irrational urge to share this game with your friends. Ooh. If cast with at least 7,000 wish lists, makes the developer of this game very happy. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's cheekiness that I like. Yeah, I really like that. Well done, developer. Um, I was going to wish list anyway because I actually enjoyed the game. <laughs> I really like that. It makes the developer very happy. Right. Uh, what do I think of this game? Um, I think it's a cool little game. It's actually longer than what I thought it'd be. Uh, maybe saying because um, this is the second type of game like this I've played. I like the music, I like the sound. Artwork's really cool. Uh, the concept of being able to power up your character by combining spells, I really do find appealing. I'm a collector person. It interests me. I think it's a cool game. I'll put it on my wish list. That was God Slayer Arena. But as always, it's not up to me. It's up to you guys. You do you. This has been Pulse Beetle. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Keep the posts. Remember. Boop.